mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. How many times have you heard this disclaimer being played on TV by mutual fund houses? This disclaimer is used by mutual fund houses to tell you that fund performance is always dependent on market performance. Hedge funds are the money management industry's answer to this felt need of investors for positive returns irrespective of how the markets behave. So hedge funds use many strategies to deliver a market neutral return. The first is a long shot strategy which was the original strategy used by many hedge funds. Basically, they take long positions or buy positions in some stocks and short positions or sell positions through the futures market and other stocks. So that the portfolio will always have some buys and some sells outstanding. But sometimes even long short strategies can be market dependent. If a fund has a net market position, that is buys are more than sells or sells are more than buys, then when the market swings either way, the fund can end up losing or gaining. To avoid this, hedge funds came up with market neutral strategies. Funds try to avoid any net market position and keep it at zero. So any portfolio positions are hedged through underlying futures positions. A third kind of strategy is an absolute return strategy. So the hedge fund manager, based on where he thinks a positive return will come the next year, may keep switching between asset classes in order to deliver a return. For example, he may invest in oil stocks one year, he may move the whole thing to gold the next year, the next year he may find emerging market bonds to be a great investment. So by completely switching his investments, he manages an absolute return, no matter how the markets behave across the world. The other strategy of course is arbitrage. Basically, hedge funds try to identify mispricing between assets across different markets. They keep buying the asset in one market and selling it in another until the gap in prices closes. This way they make a small arbitrage return. There is also a strategy called event arbitrage where you try to take positions in stocks ahead of an event. Say if you know that RBI is going to cut rates, you take positions in Indian bonds and then make a gain out of it. Or if you know a large company is going to be acquired, you take a position in the target company and make gains with the stock price. So this is called event arbitrage. The other strategy which is quite popular nowadays is a strategy based on macros. So a hedge fund manager tries to predict how a country's GDP may move in a particular year, either growing or degrowing. Based on this expectation, he takes positions in stocks, bonds or currency markets. When the macros move in the expected way, he stands to make a big gain. Though hedge funds were quite a hit when they first burst upon the scene in the global markets, they have been getting more than their fair share of big bats lately. This is because of various criticisms which are being leveled against hedge funds. The first thing is about their high fees. Recently, there has been this worldwide move towards funds which charge low fees and passive index tracking funds have become all the rage. Whereas hedge funds, because they claim to use very special strategies, actually charge very high fees. The typical hedge fee structure is actually 220. So they take 2% of the assets managed and 20% uh, of any profits that they make. The second criticism against hedge funds is that their returns tend to be very low. In the last three years or five years, actually most global hedge funds have only managed a single digit return, whereas most stock markets have easily delivered a double digit return. A third criticism that is leveled against hedge funds is that they are very opaque. Because most hedge funds claim that they use proprietary strategies, they don't actually tell you where they are investing or what their strategies are going to be. A couple of years ago, the US SEC investigated Galleon Funds, a very large hedge fund run by Raj Rajaratnam. The fund made supernormal returns for many years. SEC found that Rajaratnam made huge gains because he received insider tip-offs from a large circle of friends. One of these friends was Rajat Gupta, former boss of McKinsey. The SEC ended up convicting both Rajaratnam and Gupta for illegal insider trading. Hedge funds still manage $2 trillion in assets and two-thirds of that money comes from pension funds, charities, endowment funds and so on. So obviously they are doing something right. 